here with Dallas Cowboys quarterback, superstar Dak Prescott. It's an honor. Thanks for taking the interview. No, of course, man. Appreciate you having Dak, me. Dak, how you, how you feeling these days, man? You busy? No, I'm, yeah, very busy. I mean, obviously here at the Super Bowl, uh, just busy, just all the festivities. Much rather uh, be preparing for this game, busy right, in that right, standpoint. Right, absolutely. But I'll take it. That's that's amazing you said that because I think your time will come. But after three and five start and all of the naysayers, what was it that clicked that got you guys on track? to make it to the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, we just we got a really, really good team and the right type of people, the right type of men. Uh, and, and it was special. I mean, I said it's one of the, my, my favorite teams I've ever been on, one of the most special teams I've been on because when you're 3-5, and five, you know what I mean. It's You're getting scrutinized. Yeah. They're, they're calling for your head. They want the next quarterback or right. this, this, and that. And just to have the team that we have, the support system off, us grabbing arms, us locking the right. together, and all the way from the front office down, of us making the trades, doing the things that we needed to do, uh, it was refreshing and it really created a healthy environment yeah. that allowed us to bond and get things going the right way. And you were certainly a catalyst for that, but Amari Cooper, bringing yeah. him in, did you have any influence on that, that deal that, that they struck? No, so I mean, obviously I knew there was, there was talk of us trying to get somebody, us trying to get a deal done. When, when Amari's name gets popped up, I played against him in college, so I'm, my vote's there. My vote's for that guy. I know, right. I know what he can do. I played against him. Uh, and then when you get him, just to see his quick twitch, how explosive he is, the way he approaches the game, studies yeah. the game, he made that transition easy. He just gets open. Just allowed the offense to open up. Yeah. Playing for the Dallas Cowboys, is it a certain pressure that you feel? Because the pressure comes from everywhere, all right. over. Is it a different type of approach that you take, or you just – you know, keep your head down and keep it going. Yeah, you just said that. I keep my head down and I just keep going. I got my blinders on. I control what I can control. Yes. Uh, and the rest of the stuff will take care of itself. Uh, if, yeah. if I can't control it, I'm not going to stress myself out, putting a lot of thought into it or whatever. So, I mean, um, it, it adds its pressure if you if you want to dive into that and open yourself up for it. Yeah. But for me, it's about controlling the messages, controlling what I put in my head and what I put in my mind to right. uh, so make sure I stay focused. So, after a three and five start, making the playoffs, great season, great finish. It's a big year for you. I think some great things are coming. Yeah. You know, you and the owner have a great relationship. Some good things coming as far as some new money. What you think? I'm going to let my agent uh, do his job. I yeah. think I did mine my, my, on the field. Uh, now it's, it's time for, for him to do his job. It's out of my hands. Yeah, you definitely deserve it. Now, last Appreciate question. You. Moving forward for this team. Uh, what do you think needs to be added to this team to make it a championship contender? Yeah, I mean, we're a young team. Honestly, I just think we just need to keep progressing in everything that we're doing to, 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 to make that change that we did at 3-5 and five and to turn in the team that we did, playing some of our best ball, uh, and knowing we still have a lot to play. We've got a great defense, so as we, we keep that defense healthy, um, just pick up these young guys we have on offense, we, the, the sky's the limit. I mean, we, get the, we, we figure out the play caller and OC and the direction we're going with that. Uh, sky's the limit. You know in the game it's all about competitive edge. Uh, there's 1,800 players in the league and it's always about how can I get better than that, than that next man. And uh, it's not always exercise, it's not always diet. Uh, yeah. And it's sleep. It's sleep. Uh, so sleep number has been, been crazy, crazy beneficial in just helping me sleep, getting my body right. We talk about that trade that happened at 3 and 5. I actually got my sleep number at 3 and 5. So nice. Who knows if it's the trade, who knows what it was. I say it was the sleep number. I would say it was the sleep <laughs> number. Congratulations, Dak, Appreciate on all your success. Much moving forward. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah.